in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. My dear friends in Christ, I welcome you to this season of Lent, our 40 days reflection on Lent. Today is Ash Wednesday, the very first day of the season of Lent. And today, my dear friends, Ash Wednesday is a time of preparation to celebrate Easter, the Paschal mystery. The beginning of Lent is marked with the blessing and imposition of the ashes on our foreheads. The actual putting of these ashes symbolizes our fragility and mortality as well as our need to be redeemed by the mercy of God. It also reminds us of the fact that we are those, of course, and unto those we shall return. And so the readings of today, the first reading, from the prophet Joel, chapter 2, verse 12 to 18, and the responsorial psalm from Psalm 51, of course, and the second reading from 2 Corinthians, chapter 5, verse 20 to 6, verse 2. And of course, the gospel reading is from Matthew, gospel, chapter 6, from verse 1 to 6, 16 to 18. Amen. The readings reminds us, my dear friends, on the need for us to be reconciled back to the Lord. The prophet Joel tells us today, tear your hearts and not your garment. He said we should gather the assemble and gather everybody. Lent is a season that the church has chosen for us to gather together. It is a time that is associated with three major pillars, prayers, fasting or abstinence, and alms given. And prayer is mostly done in common when we gather for morning masses or we gather for stations of the cross and all the uh, activities of this land we pray for ourselves and for the whole world for the forgiveness of our sins the prophet Joel said if we are able to pray and put on these ashes you know and gather together perhaps who knows you know God may become jealous and become merciful to us that is what he's saying and so that is why this time is very ideal because the second reading of today tells us clearly that this is the most acceptable time this is the most acceptable time. that's what saint paul says because there is time for everything although we need to pray every day and try to move towards god every day but this time is more ideal what does it mean by this is the acceptable time because it is a time that the prayers the readings the activities of the church are geared towards repentance, reconciliation, and coming back to the Lord. So this time is like a time that we emphasize more on repentance and living a holy life because without holiness, of course, we are not going to see the Lord. And this is done by these three pillars. The gospel today tells us clearly on how to go about it, on how our fasting should be. It should not be meant to show off, to tell people that you are fasting. Our prayer should not be hypocritical. It should come from our heart. It should come from our heart. And he's also telling us that even when we give arms, even when we give arms, we just have to be very, very careful so that we don't blow it too much. So these are the things that will help us at this season of Lent to draw closer to God and to return to Him. We pray, my dear friends. And as we listen to this word of God at this time of Lent, that we will be able to reconcile ourselves back to God, no matter what we think we have done, no matter where you think you have gone astray, no matter what sin you think you have committed. I want you to understand today, like the prophet Joel tells us, that God can still listen to us. He says, spare your people, O Lord, and make not your heritage a reproach, a byword among the nations. It would not be nice. God himself does not take delight in the death of a wicked man, the death of a sinner. But he wishes that all of us should repent and return to him. As we prepare to return to him in this season of Lent, may God help us through Christ our Lord. Let us pray. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Almighty God and Father, I pray for your children who at this moment begin this season of Lent, these 40 days of prayer, fasting, and alms given. This time of reconciliation, Lord. Father, we belong to you. We do not belong to the devil. We do not belong to sin. We beg you, Father, that as we come back to you, may you accept us. May you forgive our sins. 
may you grant us pardon and give us the grace to be able to carry out these 40 days faithfully with you, to journey with you, to travel with you in the spirit and in all the activities of the spirit. That as we journey with you, Lord, may we reach, Lord, our end, which is Easter, to celebrate the resurrection, not just in Easter alone, but one day celebrate that resurrection on the last day. Grant this through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you for watching this video. I believe you are blessed. Don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel for more motivational and spiritual messages. Visit www.fathathomasonabedailydigest.com